question. Yeah. Are, are we, uh, I mean, this, this is unimproved property we're we'll running this through. Not the next. That's right. Uh, my first thought was just, why don't we just dig a ditch? I mean, why do we want to pay for all this piping and cover it back up and all that stuff? Are we just, are we, we here on this shooting for the moon? If we can get it, get it? Okay. If, if it's piped for us, it's better for the value of sure. what we're doing oh. and for, for our future. upkeep on For future. future. And, and Craig, if FEMA fights us on that, what we'll probably end up saying is on an area in the northwest corner uh, by commission, mm -hmm. which, to get through there, and we had a tough time early on. You remember, you remember the neighbors called to get all that because we were taking down protected trees and all that, mm -hmm. uh, which we weren't. But um, there's no way to route a ditch through there without taking down some additional protected trees. So we're going to make an argument to the theme of the environmental side. Yeah, yeah. We need to at least at least ditch that area. Once we cross under the access drive and then run the rest of the way down to the wetlands, it's going to really push it. That could become open ditch pretty easily. Mm -hmm. and so that's a yeah, problem. I mean, we're, we're kind of going with. I felt like you might as well go ask them for yeah. what fits your future plan. And that's kind of the way I think we need to couch to them is that, you know, they've already done this macro planning and this is what they want to do and uh, us cutting a ditch, they're going to come back filling in the ditch later on down the road. Mm -hmm. yeah. Plus I think the cost, there's not, the cost between the ditch and the and that is, is probably about $30,000. Oh, that's it? Yeah, it's not, I mean, if you, there's a lot of clearing for that ditch. I mean, Which did the city say they, they would do that ditch? They will. Now, but I'm talking about the difference in a Kappa and I mean they're two. I got them to price both. So that's about all the difference there is in them. So when the city admitted that, that, that they well let's go ahead and fix this, we'll cut a ditch here. Were they saying yeah we were wrong? <laughs> no, I, I don't think so. I think really what we were trying to do is figure out how to fix the problem, and, and now, nobody was really, everybody was trying to just work something out, right. and we were all trying to figure out what resources everybody could bring to the table, and you know, our, our deal was, well, we'll go get, we'll get some surveying done and figure out how, where we need to go from here, and then let's come up with some concepts, and then let's So, play. so what, what you're telling me is, is that the, um, when they told you there was 18 inch and it was a 15 inch, that wasn't the whole problem. Yeah, well, that's just part of things too that, that we were. There, there, there's a number of issues that. There's a couple of different problem. things. I mean, there was an actual pipe that's a significant amount of flow that's coming to us, and they thought we thought the city engineer told us it was going away. I mean, it's not. It's going to be out the opposite direction. <laughs> so, I mean, um, so I don't know. I mean, it's not. I, like I said, I think there's. It's a combination of things. Usually, yeah. when you have these problems, it's not. One of the things that you know, I've listened to you. You know, you, the, the the city engineers gave you a dimension that didn't exist, and you put in a pipe, a pipe that. One thing. Okay. Yeah. Right. The other thing is, in the understanding of this, is that the city took these plans and approved them. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, I'm, I'm not, not trying like, to. Yeah. I'm not yeah. trying to establish fault or anything. Right. What I'm I'm trying to get uh, some clarification on, if the pipe that the city said they had was there and you put your pipe in there, would that have alleviated most of the water problem? Some of it. But no, 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 no. Yeah. Okay, let's say some of it. So if your pipe is larger than what the city has now, and then on the other end, west of there, I don't know at what point, whether that's a few miles or few feet or a couple hundred miles, I mean, block. Yeah. So now, if we increase the size of those pipes continuously from where you are through, what would that do in terms of alle alleviating the water problem? Would it be insignificant? It will take it down. Yeah, it will. It will. But the, the deal there is fun. That's the deal. Okay, okay, so, the, so the the, is the, the bottleneck problem on the north side of Commission Road and the ponding yeah. problem, the sheeting yeah. problem, right. is that the same problem? No. I mean, does this ditch address two, both those uh, issues? Yes. That's the thing. See, the deal is, is there's two issues. There's one, the ponding that's going on on the school site, okay? The other issue is a drain, downstream drainage problem, which may or may not be our, I mean, it, well, yeah, no, our, I, I, our issue. But yeah, the bottom line on that one. It, for the FEMA funding for our project, FEMA would not allow us to go beyond 
kind of can of where that widening started. Right. Uh -huh. And do anything underground to point out the was. So right, even now, if we'd identified as we've got a big bottleneck right here, mm -hmm. we couldn't have fixed it. Yeah, because one of the things I'm, I'm looking at, and we're trying to go back to FEMA right now to, to for them to pay all or a greater portion of this $195,000, okay? okay. Um, and if we, if FEMA decides that we're not going to do that, then someone's going to have to do that anyway. Uh, unless we just say to hate with the resident, then <coughs> that's a serious problem. Somewhere down the line, someone is going to have to come up with money to fix this problem, whether it's going to be the school district that's going to continue with the pipes and the ditch to eliminate the water so that it will not spill over, or the money is going to be uh, come up, <coughs> uh, made, built, printed by the city to connect those pipes. <laughs> make those pipe laws to eliminate that problem. Somewhere down the line, that is going to have to happen unless, until the, our, our, the city is going to go up in arms. Um, has anyone done, done an estimate on how much it would cost to increase the size of those pipes from where we just put in our new word, uh, uh, road work right, so this is the to thing. the other? The problem is the city can't tell me if I go do that, that we're not going to cause a problem a mile down the road. Yeah, we've got problems. See, that's all the thing. I mean, we can upgrade well, Basically, uh, I mean, we the can only way that we can stop this is take the water to some it, it, ravine. It's the only and way. It's the only 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 way. It's the what you just said. Is somebody going to come back to us that lives down the canal later and say this is the school district's fault because I'm trying to put all that water down there? I don't think, I don't think the city engineer or I don't think. The uh, other deal is that if we do this though, that water's got to travel a lot further than that. The difference now is that water doesn't have to, it's not traveling very far to, its prop, to the problem, okay? We put in a pipe that's going to go all the way across your property. There's going to be a certain amount of water that's, that's going to stay in the pipe and it's just going to slowly drain. I mean, there's a lot of capacity there. You see what I'm saying? In that pipe before it even gets to the canal. So it's not getting to the canal as fast as it's getting to that ditch on the mission road. Yeah, because one of the things that, you know, that, 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 that concerns me is that they're yeah, looking at all this new construction down. Uh, Klondike and along 28th Street in Klondike and on the other side of 28th Street in Klondike and all that water that's coming going into their wetlands is going to eventually <coughs> materialize down there somewhere and so these people are going to buy these this property that is a non flood zone and five six years from now when all that water continue to flow down there they're going to be in a flood zone like the city told me before i bought my property that no this is not a flood zone five years later i got i'm in a flood zone so you know where are we you know anybody can consider that thought about that or well, give I mean, that's, a, that's a city ordinance yeah. issue that's <laughs> a stormwater <laughs> ordinance issue and, and the city has certain requirements and it's called post and pre. Your, your post, meaning the runoff after you develop, can't be more than it was before. You and so, there is some question on that, y'all, on this road, this access road. Because none of that is, I mean, y'all built a detention pond with, this, with the parking lots and the buildings, but the access road and the clearing of that area and, and that's, that's, I don't know, I mean, I wasn't involved with that. Correct. I mean, from the city's perspective, uh, they should have said something about that. <laughs> well, but I now, mean, we're not talking about, I mean, the water that we're creating by our access road, is, we're ponding on some on one side, okay, that's some amount of, of, of water, and then, <laughs> I don't know how much other water it is, but you're not talking about moving our water. You're talking about moving everybody else's water, too. Exactly. I mean, is there a cheaper way to just 
alleviate our land where the runoff from our land is pond. <laughs> well, no, so other, other say, than I mean, I, now I've got pictures of how much water the pond is in the northwest. Yeah, but with, you, and detention bond, we don't want to pond the water from upstream onto our land. I mean, can't we? No, I mean, you're not, you don't have, that's what I'm trying to say, though. It's that, when you start talking about how much, all right, how much water, you got to figure out, okay, this surface had trees, grass, shrub, it had all this stuff on it. We went out there and we bulldozed two acres. And we cleaned it off. And there's no trees, it's asphalt, it's concrete, whatever it is. That runoff coefficient goes up. I mean, so you, that water is running off faster than it was prior to. You got more grain drops hitting the surface. Right. So that's where the that's where the issue comes in. And that's where your runoff can't be any faster than what you had. Prior to that. Okay, the, water, the water that is moving along Commission Road from east to west, downstream, we, not from our property, but the, the, let's go back to before we developed. The water was moving like in an open ditch, right? Well, you know what? The majority of that water was going to the south. It was coming across Commission Road? It, it was, let's go back to that. <coughs> most of that, from what I can tell, I mean, this is what the way I understand it is the water, okay, from right, the water east of Access Drive, yeah. most of that water in the contours go back either south or it was flat. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it was not going to a ditch here because the ditch was always, that road is higher in there than it is back here. Yeah, but I said, I misspoke. What I was saying, I understood part of the problem was when we put those larger culverts on the on the north side of Commission, the ones that run along Commission, we we sped up the water flow. Okay, my, my question is this: forget any water that runs from our property north across Commission Road. That's right. I mean, it's it's the travel lanes is what we had. There's I'm saying if we take care of our water, there's still a problem on the north side of Commission Road because we sped up the flow, right? No. Yes. No, 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 that's right. No, he's We're, saying ignore the water flowing off of our north side directly. With the widening, yeah. we added more asphalt. So we have added more water going into what would have been those ditches. It's not going underground. Right. Plus, it's moving faster in the pipes. So we so, have increased flow. And, and what we're talking about there. doing is tying in to one of those backside, those inlets there. And taking some of that water to the south and from, alleviating that problem. I know a lot, lot of I know a lot of the concerns that Carolyn and Jamie have had is we don't want to solve the city's drainage problem. And and let me, so we have increased the drainage, the flow out of there. So to solve that problem, we dump it on our site and we run it through. And then you can make the argument, well, we don't have to take all of it. Well, that's what I'm trying to get but, to. Are, are you making? Are you suggesting that we take the mm -hmm. water? Just from our side, or we moving the water, the water from our side and water that's coming from the, the, the so road. Right. All we're proposing is the road that was widened in your side, the northwest corner, and the road widening part. That's all the water we'd be taking. Excuse me, um, Jamie. What are your thoughts on this? It's just. The, the part that I didn't understand, the part that I don't understand is first of all, we had unprecedented rain. That's right. As far as, we still don't even know if it's going to flood again if it rained like it did, even if we do all of this. That's right. And, and, the, and the other part, and the other part that where we were talking about, Jim, what you were just saying about water moving down the ditches, mm -hmm. water was coming mm -hmm. off of our property into that ditch and moving. Now, all that water is still on our property it's not even making it to the to the ditch because so so none of that so it's almost like oh it is how it's not coming over the sidewalks and it's not coming over the road right through this guy's yard I'm well, I'm, that's yeah. over here on the, that's on the far side over here yeah, I'm the low point is, that's where it's going but but the way that this shows how this is draining it, all the way back here all this is draining on that side of the access road that's not even making it out of anymore. That's yeah, all. I mean, but we're not even, I'm not talking about this lower half. I'm only talking about the, that 30 contour, the northwest corner of the property. It's about two acres. 
And, and that's coming. That, that now is, that is moving east across the, all this water over here is moving east across the access road. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. This has nothing to do with the 